Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome to part zero of my Let's Play of Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah, what I'm going to be doing, because I actually don't have the game yet, is uh, doing a little bit of a review on the Assassin's Creed Ezio Blade. So, uh, on the note for Assassin's Creed 3, though, um, I will not be going to the midnight release. Uh, I will be getting it the day it comes out. And the reason why is because I have morning classes and uh, losing about six hours of sleep to get the video up about three hours earlier than I would otherwise just does not appeal to me. But anyway, I'm going to go open this up and you guys can check it out. Okay, so out of the packaging we have the, uh, I don't know what you call these, the gauntlet type things. You know, actually this is actually surprisingly really well made. It's got, you know... Relatively solid. It's kind of thick. It's definitely a little bit heavier than I would have originally thought. It is made of a specialized plastic. Um, it doesn't feel. It's a very. It's surprisingly flexible. You can see that. It's got a lot. It doesn't feel uh, rigid as uh, I was expecting. And then they have this cheapo little fake leather strap right here. I'm trying to figure out what I'm showing you on the camera as well. And. I figured this is going to be the first thing to go. So, uh, looking forward to that. And I'm being steamed. Okay, and then we have the actual blade. And this is also you know, a little bit better than I thought it would be. But we have the straps. Just Velcro, Velcro straps, which are okay. Um, some kind of cheapo. Probably also made of plastic. So, you know, nothing too impressive. The blade actually surprised me with the level of detail. If the camera can focus on it. There we go. So it actually surprised me. It's got a, a very nice level of detail. And what's cool is that this also goes... The whole thing goes in, but this also goes in. So it's really quite cool. So anyway, I'm going to go put this on real quick. Alright, so this is on very loosely right now. I didn't strap it. It's kind of hard to put this on with one hand and I'm bleeding. I don't know how that happened but apparently I'm bleeding. Um, the tip is actually kind of sharp surprisingly but it, it's really made of a weaker plastic and it's, it's, it's to me this is not stable enough but if they made it too hard I think there'd be some safety issues but anyway it's in there unfortunately it only goes in that far so uh, we'll press the button here wow that's really got a spring to it here, one sec. Let me lick my thumb. I'm going to get blood on the blade. Real, it goes in relatively easily. So it, all this is this. It's got a really nice... It's got a little bit of a kick when you actually uh, press it. So that, that's really cool. It definitely has a little bit more force. You definitely... You have to put it in, unfortunately. But you know the whole... Uh, the way that they do it in the game which is just do this and it pops out. It's so unrealistic because you know, let's rest my, see, let me put this up. Uh, ouch. I don't even know if I got my face in that because I couldn't see it. So if I messed that up, I will probably edit that out. But anyway, so yeah, this thing cost uh, 40 bucks, um, which isn't too pricey. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, I don't know if it'd be, you know, it's up to you whether or not it's worth it. Um, it'd be really cool if you had, like, an Ezio costume or something for Halloween, unfortunately, you know. Unless you were planning that for a little while and could find one relatively easily. Uh, that's probably not going to happen. But anyway, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, the, only, the only drawback to it that I have is that uh, it really uh, inhibits a lot of motion. I don't know if that's because of the way I have it on, but it doesn't feel like it should be going too much farther back into my arm. Otherwise, it won't really fit. But... Uh, yeah, anyway, 40 bucks at GameStop. Not bad. So, look forward to my Assassin's Creed uh, 3 videos starting up no later than the 31st. Uh, the first one will be posted then. So, until then, thank you all very much for watching. And God bless.